Well, um, my name's Chris. This is my wife, Ashley. Um, we're from Eastern Tennessee. We're here in Culpeper, Virginia to tour Belmont Farms Distillery with Tim Smith, the master behind Climax Moonshine. How you doing? Pretty good, how are hey, you? Hey, good, good. I'm Chris. And Chris? I'm Ashley. I'm Ashley, and I guess you know who I am. Yes, sir, we do. Yeah, okay. So this is a place, you, you see the outside, but the happenings is on the inside. Yeah, check it out. So come on in. Obviously, I've watched the show since it came on. Um, been interested in it for many, many years. You know, it's just part of culture, where we're from. You, you know somebody who does it, or you know somebody who knows somebody who does it. You know, and they don't talk and say who that person is, but they know about it. So it's a neat thing. It's part of Appalachian culture, which is what we're interested in. Chuck! Hey, Tim! Yeah, good. How you doing today? Hey, I'm trying to sell moonshine. <laughs> okay. So I got some guests here. Oh, all right. We got uh, Chris and Ashley from Tennessee. Oh, really? Hi, Chris. I'm Chuck. Nice to meet you, Chuck. Nice to know you. Yeah. Hi, Ashley. How are you today? <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah. And what so, brings y'all up this way? Well, they, they actually won a contest on oh. the Scurvy Moonshiners. Oh. And um, they want an all-expense trip to come hang out with us today. Well, isn't that a wonderful <laughs> thing, huh? yeah. well, you know, you want to come on back and get yeah, a little tour? I guess we go see. Let's go, huh? So you went through that door to the next door. All right. Well, I'm kind of excited. And, uh, you know, to be able to have a little private time with a really, really diehard fan that actually went, you know, above and beyond to, to be able to meet me in person. And, and also, you know, ask those questions that maybe they wouldn't get to, to ask in, in public. All right, well, here's the okay. deal here. Uh, this is the old cook tank here where we, everything starts. We fill this up with water right to there. And then we'll get the, uh, we grow the, actually grow the corn right on the farm here. We, Tim requires those corn, uh, barley, malted barley, and rye. Right. After the cook tank, we pumped it over to the mash tank. And then after that, we gotta cool it down. We don't sit back there in those tanks, you know, five or six days. It bubbles, girdles, you know. Uh, but then it goes flat. That's when we pump it to the pot still. Oh, and if you get the so temperature of that crazy. tank up to 180, well, you can see the water is supposed to stay behind and alcohol boils out. It comes out of there, goes over to what they call a doubler, and it goes through the uh, copper coil condenser. It just basically turns that steam back into alcohol. Mm -hmm. So uh, I know we got two tanks over there. It's actually fermenting. So you can actually see some of it before it gets over to the steel. Okay. About two days yeah, old. Yeah, it's about two days old. So, so let's it's go probably check a little out, something huh? activating. It's got something going on in there. I think uh, there's a little bit surprised in how much work it goes into uh, to making Climax Moonshine. And I'm excited for them to learn that. I'm excited for them to see that. Um, it is a lot of work. And uh, and that's that's I guess what makes it stand out. Yeah, that's it fermenting there. You can I mean it's got a really strong smell. Yeah. And you see it's building a crust on top. Yeah, that's what it's doing right now. Called a cap. But, but this is good. When you got a big cap, that's good. That's what so you we want. We have to hold a temperature. What's the temperature on now, Tim? Can you see him? Uh, 86. 86. Yeah. You, got, you don't want to yeah. get an overheating more than that. Yeah. that. It was really neat uh, to see the whole process. Um, there's a lot more that goes into this than what you would think. So be careful. Go down the steps. We'll go, uh, we'll go over to where the, the finished right. product goes from the uh, fermenting of the mash and the cooking of the mash. Really neat process. Um, Tim and Chuck were great, um, showing us how everything happens, you know. Uh, we did it all. The whole process from uh, emptying the cases, putting the bottles on the conveyor, the, the bottle going through, the, 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 the moonshine being put into the, the bottle, to the labeling, everything. We did it all, so that's pretty neat. You know, how many people can say, I have my own bottle of Climax Moonshine that I, you know, put in the package? So that, that's pretty neat. I have my own case. Uh, Tim signed some bottles for us. So pretty neat. All right, Chris. Tim? It's nice meeting you. Yeah, you too. Hope you, you had too. fun. Hope awesome. you take care of your finger yeah, there. Fine. And Ashley. <laughs> yeah. I bet it was fun. It was. It yeah. Was awesome. We really appreciate you taking the time good, out to good, good. you and Chuck Bo. Well, I'm just glad that uh, you was able to come. So good good trip. All Safe. Right. We'll be in touch. All take right, care. Thank you very much. Yep. Thanks. Hopefully you see yourself on TV, uh, on Discovery Channel, Moonshiners there. Yeah, you know. discoverychannel.com. Yeah, <laughs> discoverychannel.com slash moonshine. Slash moonshine. That's right. All so right. you may get to see you out there. All right, Tim. Thank you very much. Tell everybody. All, All right. right. See ya. Thank you. See y'all.